Hello, it's Gameli, RevitTunes.com, and this is video two of uh, Revit MEP 2010, and you are responsible of whatever work you do with similar software. Okay, so again on these tabs, looks for Manage, and MEP Settings, Mechanical Settings, and let's prepare these settings. Okay, the tutorial suggests to remove some of these tags that uh, they don't think are used in the field and they don't use three and a half, four and a half, five and a half. And those are from the rectangular. Maybe they don't. I don't know if they use three inches, it seems to be small, but the tutorial says in, remove only those because in the field they will not use it normally. And for the round dog, starting from three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and twelve, ten and a half, and eleven and a half and 12 and a half. They will not use those those sizes. For water, pipe, ser pipe settings, not necessarily water, but sizes, they want to remove three quarters. Uh, I wouldn't remove it because I noticed they actually use it, but maybe for mechanical equipment they will not use three quarter inch. And that said, for this setting, I just want to explain something about materials right here. Uh, each material has their own sizes. So if I go to copper, you will see. So actually, when when I probably when I remove these sizes. It will remove from the default material it was. So in in this case, I'm gonna use for water, so it will not have those sizes. And um, let's say it was. You choose any material here: copper, plastic, iron, stainless steel and also you could create more materials by clicking here you put a new material name in this case it, it, it by default it has this choice which means if i choose plastic it will copy the numbers the different sizes for plastic and then you could add or remove or you could modify so right here I would delete one size and I will add in one new size and and that's for this material is the new material and if you don't want that material you could remove it here so I don't have the new material uh, so that's all for for this part according to this tutorial uh, I, I didn't mention anything about about this part uh, For instance, right here you have your choice for your main branch, supply air, main and branch, so your main docking, and you could choose also for your return. So let's say your main dock air supply will be this choice, and you have few choices here. You you choose whatever you you are using, radius elbows and T's, radius elbows and tap, meter elbows and T's, and the offset. The, let's say most of your dock will be a certain height, and this number is the center of the dock. Obviously, if it's round, it's the center of the dock. If it's rectangular, just the midpoint of the dock and it's measuring from floor finished floor 
to the midpoint or center of the dog. So you choose this and like uh, in the branch if you have flex dog, right now I have none but if I, if I want one piece of it at the end I could choose four feet uh, or six feet or whatever will be the the maximum flex duck length allowed and if you go farther than that it will warn in you and right here again duck rice drop and you choose from this menu your symbology and so sizes sizes of this we already fixed okay so I will say okay on this and that's my settings for this mechanical now for the electrical MEP again we are in manage MEP settings now electrical settings now we have the general information here electrical data style you choose here connector description voltage phase and load if you want to uh, put your information by that or by voltage number of poles and load or by voltage phase so I'm going to leave the default and the circuit description you choose here 480 volts three phases 3 ampere you choose one of those uh, I'm choosing the default now if you start browsing here there is information here I am going to change this right here I need to load this these families to, to be able to choose something here and I'm not going to change nothing on this slanted line across tick mark show tick mark always and let's get the tick marks hot wire tick mark ground wire tick mark and neutral so we need to load those families so I'm gonna I haven't changed nothing so I'm gonna cancel for one minute and insert load family so after I hit load family I go to imperial electrical components tick marks I'm gonna load these two hook wire tick mark long wire tick mark and I highlight both of them and my window I'm gonna make it smaller Okay, I made the window smaller so we can see. Now, those are my families to load. And now when they are loaded, I could use it. So again, go to manage, settings, oh here, electrical settings. And right here. Over here, we'll look over here hook tick mark and then over here for ground I, I use long wire tick mark neutral I choose long only for hot wire will be hood wire tick mark and this is this is not gonna change it stays like that no slanted line across tick mark and show tick mark always say ok and let's let's leave the next part for the other video reptunes.com this guy